So I briefly want to tell you how you can make your little revision plan for your upcoming exams. It's really quick, really easy to do. Um, so all you need to do is go to Excel. Um, I'm using an, a OneDrive online version, so you can do that too. Basically, what you want to do is put the dates down. So that's gone. It's now May, isn't it? So this is from my 2022 exams. So the dates are not going to be the same as yours. But you can make this really easily by typing in Monday and then you can write Tuesday and then if you drag and hold that down it should go and fill out so you go to the bottom right corner and you just bring it down and it will copy and paste it you can do that the same with the dates so if you write the 15th of May because I believe that's the Monday you write it like that and then you oh it turns into that and then you drag it down and then you get the dates. You can see it goes into June there, but it Excel's built differently. So it does the month, day, and then the year. And then to make it colored, you just go here and choose a color. I normally just put it on this one. Um, and then I, I made this one a bit darker because it's the first day of the month, uh, first day of the week, sorry. And to get borders, you can just uh, go here. Oops. Well, I mean, I don't mind having it all blue, but you can go here and you can fill it all in like that. Um, personally, I would keep these clear because that's like a little border thing. Um, and then I would put down all of my papers that I have. So here I have the morning papers here and then the afternoon papers here. And so I can see what exams I had on the same day and which ones I didn't have in the morning. And then around that you can fill in what uh, you want to revise. But you can also just leave it there as a visual thing. And then if we go up to the top here, I have all my subjects that I was doing, so all the papers I have. So English language paper one, paper two, literature, paper one, two, maths, RE, yep, all of that. And then because I was in the year of 2022, we only had to do certain topics, but you guys have to do all of them. So you want to write out all of the topics here. Um, the extra was because um, the ones that I didn't have to do for my GCSE, but you're going to have to do all of them, so you won't, you won't have these columns and then you have each individual section and you have the different papers that is made up of um, maths yeah, you can do it if you want to but maths you can just leave it as it is and then here I filled in whenever I completed something if I did like a practice one of question two for example I'll just fill it in um, black so I know that I've done it um, and it's a good tracker to see so if you've got like an exam the next day and you haven't covered something you can be like oh I need to recover these three things right before you can choose how you study so this is me trying out the pom Pomodoro method uh, it's when you do 25 minutes of studying then a five minute break 25 minutes studying five minute break uh, I didn't actually end up following that but you can always try it out if it doesn't work it doesn't work and then here I would have um, a little timetable thing of what I would do during the day so 10 to 11 I would do like work this is just stuff that I would do outside of studying I would have lunch at around 12 to 1 that would these would be my breaks basically um, exercise I would do I would only do like around 10 15 minutes though because I wanted to spend more time studying but it's up to you if you want to de-stress I did practice I do play some music instruments, so I did practice some piano and violin. Although you don't have to, um, I don't think I ended up practicing them. Uh, but if my parents are watching this, I did. Um, and then we've got dinner, five to six, so I would have a break then anyway. But yeah, this is what you want to do to make your revision plan. It can be really quick, really easy to make. All you have to do is just colour code subjects to how you like. Just choose a nice colour, a pastel colour. I mean, they look nice to me. Yeah, if it's too dark, put the font in white. Um, and then yeah, you don't really need to do any coding or anything. All you need to know is how to put the the days of the weekend, the day, if you want that, you don't even have to put it in if you don't want to. Um, I blocked out the times I was busy, but that was before study leave, so you'll be from here onwards. And then you can choose your study session, so I chose the morning, break time, lunch time, like evening, night time. Um, and I would always go to bed by 10 o'clock because 10 o'clock was the cutoff point. I needed nine hours of sleep every night to make sure I was awake for my exams. No point in sitting exams if you're like falling asleep. But yeah, and if I missed out any revision that I did and I didn't go according to plan, I would wake up half an hour early. So I would normally wake up at 6.45, but I would wake up at 6.15 to go through those extra flashcards, go over anything that I didn't understand or go over stuff that I kept getting wrong. And then 
I would go to the exams a bit early so we had to be there by 8 15 and I got there by 8 so then I went to the teachers that I needed to go to and ask them questions about um oh I don't un- I still don't understand this can you quickly help me with this can you go over this can you give me some last minute tips for this make sure you're on track uh with all your revision uh, the days that you don't have any exams that's your time to catch up um and really go for it leave your phone downstairs I know my phone was my biggest distraction and to get rid of that I put it downstairs and I would only go downstairs if I needed a break. If I couldn't be bothered to walk downstairs then the break was not needed enough. So I'll just continue studying. If you do have an exam, if you have an exam in the morning, I would say go do what I said before and revise like early in the morning, like 6.15, not too early because you still want nine hours of sleep. And then after your exam, but you'll come home around like 11ish. Uh, I can't really remember the timings, but 11 or 10 or however close you live to score and however long the exam is, you'll go home and then before lunch you can just um, relax, watch YouTube videos, go on TikTok, whatever you want to do, go on Twitter, Twitter's really good because everyone posts their thoughts on, on the exams and everyone is relatable and you can find some funny memes that are made about the exams Um, you can share anger of why a question was this and why was it so hard, uh, you can do that. And then after lunch, I would say you need to crack on and prepare for your next exam. If you're really not motivated to do anything, you you need to force yourself to watch a motivational video. I know that I had to watch motivational videos, but that was because my my COVID timetable, because I was in the year of 2022, my whole exam period was was over two months and it was so long, uh, it was so exhausting. But yours is only maximum, I think a month spread. But if you do get demotivated, especially towards the end, you need to watch motivational videos to get you up and going. And I would say if you're feeling really stressed or anxious about your exams, uh, go on a walk, go and do some exercise, go and or do whatever de-stresses you. Like if you play an instrument, maybe p- practice that. But um, yeah, don't make it take up all of your time. Though. So if you're going to go exercise, only do it for like maximum an hour because you don't have time to go out and do something for like five hours. So I would go on a run for like 15 minutes because that de-stresses me. Um, you can go on a walk around your block. I know that I did a walk around my block for like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, because I'm not running every day. (laughs) If you have an exam in the afternoon, you have time to prepare because if you think about your school periods, mine are like period one and two up to break time, which is 10.45 and then three and four are up to 12.45. your exams are only going to start like at one so you've got the whole period three and four if you have that in your school to study and to do any last minute revision you need to do and you'll be in school right because you've had an exam in the morning so you can go around asking teachers for help also if you only have an exam in the afternoon then you can go around in the morning to teachers if you still don't understand something if you need last minute revision but if not you can do your independent studying you can do all of your flashcards again on the day so you really know them you can go meet friends at school and test each other and work together if, if that helps you but i was more of an independent learner i'm more of an independent studier as well i think that's all i all the tips i have basically sleep is really important i said nine hours yeah you need nine hours um, to sleep, I was always a bit stressed and anxious to go to sleep because I was too busy thinking about what if I don't remember this, what if I don't remember that. You can put on some meditation, you can put on, um, you know, those YouTube meditation things to sleep with. Although I didn't really use my phone because I got distracted by it. So I would put it like in restrictive mode, I would put it on screen time limit or anything like that to make sure I wouldn't get distracted and so that I would only use my phone just for that one video so that I could fall asleep easily and then as soon as I wake up I put my phone like downstairs when I go for breakfast or something just get it out of the room sorry I said it really fast because I needed to make this video quick and brief so that I can get on with my vision you can get on with your vision and I hope this helps you I hope you're not too stressed about your exams I mean I was a little bit but a little bit of stress is good it will make you more motivated to study I wish you guys all the best in your exams Um, Thank you for the kind comments I've had about my exams um, and I'll see you guys after that and I'll help you with your A-levels too, you know. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.